Waymo is a self-driving car technology company. The company got its start as Google's self-driving car project in 2009. Waymo is currently owned by Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google. The company's primary focus is to provide the technology for self-driving cars. They aren't planning to build the cars themselves, but they'll provide all the technology necessary to create self-driving cars. Or as Waymo CEO Kraftig puts it, we're not in the business of making better cars, we're in the business of making better drivers. To understand the purpose of the company, you have to look at its past. Waymo began in 2009 as the Google self-driving car project. Their original goal was to drive over 10 continuous 100 mile tracks without the help of a human. Fast forward to 2012 when the project reached 300,000 autonomous miles driven. They invited some Google employees to help test the technology on the highways. The same year, the project began to refocus on the complex environment of city streets. The Google team was forced to tackle challenges such as pedestrians, intersections, and road repair. Google showed off their progress when the blind Steve Mahan took his first test ride in an autonomous vehicle. At this point, Mahan was still accompanied by a test driver. In 2015, Google launched an autonomous vehicle they nicknamed Firefly. The car's components were customly made. In fact, the vehicle had no steering wheel or brakes. Steve Mahan rode again, but this time he was completely alone. Firefly drove him around Austin with absolutely no human input. 2016 brought the emergence of Waymo the company. Instead of being a project within Google, Waymo became a subsidiary of Alphabet Inc. But why did Alphabet move the project? After all, the name Google has much more recognition than Waymo. The answer lies in economics. Basically, the project was so small, Google couldn't afford to worry about it. It wouldn't make much of a difference to Google's bottom line. And so the company executives really couldn't spend much time on what amounted to a small project. As its own company, Waymo had a greater chance of success. The name of the new company was based off of its goal of finding a new way forward in mobility. 2017 was a big year for Waymo with the addition of the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid to the Waymo fleet. The minivan was modified to be capable of full autonomy. The Early Riders program was launched in Phoenix, Arizona to see how the general public would adopt the self-driving cars. The same year, Waymo announced that their fully self-driving cars had arrived. These cars were being tested on public roads with no one in the driver's seat. The company promised that soon, people would be using autonomous vehicles in their daily lives. Now we finally arrive at present day. Waymo has reached over 5 million autonomous miles driven and has testing locations from Kirkland to Atlanta. The company is even planning to launch a self-driving car ride hailing service around Phoenix in 2018. This is impressive, but how is the company stacking up against its competitors? According to Navigant Research's leaderboard, the company is second only to GM in overall rankings, far ahead of more famous companies such as Tesla and Apple. Waymo's self-driving technology is similar to its competitors. An array of new technologies such as machine learning, LIDARs, vision systems, and radar enable Waymo's vehicles to navigate the roads autonomously. Their vehicles have a 360 degree view so they can detect objects from up to three football fields away. Waymo made headlines again when it announced it was teaming up with Jaguar to create the Jaguar Waymo iPace. The company plans to have 20,000 of these vehicles on the streets of Phoenix as part of a ride hailing service. So there you have it, Waymo is a Google-born self-driving car technology company whose work over the past decade has led to numerous advancements in self-driving car technology. If all goes well, it may be the company that delivers mass-produced autonomous vehicles to your doorstep.